if I could build the perfect fast bowler, I think I'll start off with Dale Staines runner. You know, it's really long, but quite athletic, fast. He's got the big mean face when he runs in. You know, he's already scary before he got, he's, he's at the crease. So I'd start off with Dale Stain. Then I'd have Glenn McGrath's height and accuracy and bounce. He was someone who just always looked like he hit the spot. Speaking to some batsmen and hearing some batsmen talk about facing him, it felt like he bowled quite a full length, but it always hit the bat stick as it just bounced more than any other bowler. So I'll take his bounce and accuracy. I'd probably take Jimmy Anderson's wrist. When the ball's swinging, he's always got the perfect seam for an out swinger. Doesn't have to change too much to bowl in swinger. So just his wrist control uh, I would have. He's not a fast bowler, but I'll have Shane Warne's presence on the field. So on the top of the mark, I'd have Warney pointing out his fielders and, and where he wanted them, and then probably his reaction after a wicket or you know after a ball trying to get in the batsman's face. Probably have Mitchell Johnson to bowl my bouncer. So I, I don't know how you transfer that to a right-hander, but I'd have him slinging down a bouncer. And maybe someone like Wazzy Macram his reverse swing. We need a reverse swing aspect, so probably him bowling his big bananas that just seem to come in late and drop, hit, hit batsman on the toe. And then I'd probably have Brett Lee's durability, not only in the game of keeping up his pace of bowling 150 kilometres for you know a whole day's play, but he did it over about a 15-year career. So I'll take his durability and stamina. Straight to him, Brett Lee. Just a fraction weight short, Polly. And I might actually take Binger's celebration as well. His wicket celebrations. 